So here's the deal, right? I've got this bike. It's dirty, it's crusty, it's new, but it's musty. And on top of that, we're trying to sell it for as much as we can by the end of the month. So in search of the ultimate end all be all way to mega ultra wash my motorcycle, I turned to my trusty old pal YouTube, and that's where I found All Day Anthony's How to Super Clean Your Motorcycle. So after watching the video, and spamming all the affiliate links in the comments, you're welcome, Anthony. All I had left to do was wait for my sweet, sweet Amazon packages to arrive. All right, so now that all the packages have arrived, I'm gonna tell you how much everything costs, but first, let's go check out what we got. This is everything I'm gonna need to overkill this cleaning job. This will make the chain less greasy, this will make the chain less squeaky, and this will make the cleanup easy. We got this so the grit doesn't stick, we got this because the bike's not a dish, and we got this so my hands can cosplay as the coronavirus. This is the magic maker, more about that in a second. This is the brush for the nooks and crannies, and this is the brush for the more delicate nooks and crannies. This is the soft towel, this is the all around towel, this is the dirty towel, this is the really dirty towel, and this is the drying towel, just to be used in conjunction with Adam's Detail Spray to make everything smell good and protect. And this is a mystery product shortly to be revealed, so stick around. So we've got a dirty and a clean, something to catch the in-between, and a bug sprayer. I'll show you what that's for here in a second. Okay, so with that out of the way, on to step one, chain prep. All right, so following Anthony's advice, I'm gonna slip a piece of cardboard behind this chain. Please excuse the uh, poor man's motorcycle stand here. I got no drip in my pocket. Must have forgot it, and maybe I already lied here. Don't got a need to go pop it, I'm about to take off like a rocky. Houston, we might have a problem, but that don't mean- Now that we've got the chain degrease, let's go ahead and move on to step two, water acquisition. Now you're probably thinking, well that's easy Austin, most houses actually have a spigot attached to them where you can actually grab some water from- Well it's not that easy! You see, there's two kinds of water, soft and hard. Soft water is pure and dries clean, while hard water is full of minerals like calcium and magnesium and leaves residue when dried, which can be seen here on the glass door in our bathroom. Hey, get out of there! So since our faucets use slightly hard water, we're getting around that by using distilled water. Since the process of distillation removes all traces of the minerals, we won't get that nasty mineralized residue. So with this secret weapon that you can pick up at your local grocery store, we're gonna go ahead and fill up the wash buckets, the magic maker, and the bug sprayer? And with those three filled up, we're gonna move on to step three, pre-soak. Sprayer isn't gonna be used to keep away spiders like the ones we found cleaning out this garage. Go check out that video to see how many we found. But rather, as a controlled way to spray down our bike using the almighty distilled water we bought. In addition to giving us more control, it also makes it so that we only have to use about one gallon to pre-soak and rinse the bike completely. Thanks for the tip, Anthony. All right, with the bike completely soaked down, it's time to move on to step four and make some magic. This is the piece de resistance, the reason y'all are here. So let's go ahead and add in a little Optimum car wash. We'll mix it up and we'll put on a show for y'all. Now that we're probably foamed up, let's get to scrubbing and move on to step five, the wash mitt. Now look, everyone washing the motorcycles and cars seems to have this Carnival Prize looking wash mitt thing. So they must be objectively better than just a regular washcloth, right? Either way, let's go ahead and get to washing. All right, now that we've scrubbed all the pretty bits, let's move on to scrubbing all the gritty bits with step six, the gray towels. For parts that tend to be extra dirty and not need a softer touch, these gray towels work perfectly by not clinging onto too much dirt, but still cleaning off our under bits. Let's get to it.
Now that we've covered the major components, it's time to hit the details with these bad boys. In step seven, the Minx towel, regular brushes, and detail brushes. All right, with everything finally scrubbed down, it's time for step eight, the final rinse and dry. Now, like we said before, we were able to keep the soak and rinse down to a single gallon of water using this bad boy. And by combining it with distilled water, it makes for a mighty fine rinse. Now, where all day Anthony had a $500 automotive air dryer with nearly the same horsepower of the actual motorcycle we'll be cleaning today, we're gonna be using this Noble Steed to blow off as much water as we can. Now the benefit of using an automotive blower like Anthony did was that you mitigate the risk of blowing dust or dirt back onto your already clean motorcycle. This is done with a smaller, more directed nozzle and with an amount of power that you're nearly guaranteed to snag every last bit of water. It's actually quite useful for speeding up drying times and preventing rust. And with four project bikes behind me that I need to do, we're definitely looking for it in our shop. So if you've enjoyed watching the video so far, consider giving it a like so that we too can have an eight horsepower air blower. For now, we're just gonna have to carefully dry our bike by strategically angling the leaf blower so as not to blow dirt back onto the motorcycle. So with that, let's get to it. Now, we got the majority of the water off the bike with the blower, but we're gonna catch up those last few drops in our next step, detailing. All right, now we're gonna forego any waxing or polishing, as the point of this video is to look at all day Anthony's method, see how much it cost, and in the end, see if it's worth it. What we will be doing is using the same Adams detail spray and detailing towel to wipe down and protect our motorcycle. All right, and with that out of the way, let's move on to our last and final step, lubing the chain. All right, so for our final step, we are back at the chain. We are to lube it up after degreasing it. And similar to how we started, we're gonna go ahead and throw a piece of carbon behind the chain to protect against overspray. Now that we have a clean bike, we don't wanna be getting dirty. All right, and that's all she wrote. We are done cleaning the Honda Grom. There's a couple things that weren't done in all day Anthony's videos, like foam the tires and wax the paint, which we're gonna do later. So consider subscribing if you wanna see how that goes and hit the notification bell to be notified when they come out. So let's talk numbers. Now it's a pretty strong pet peeve of mine when how-to channels assume that you have all these fancy tools and they break down the cost of a project to a nickel and a chewed gum wrapper. So I'm gonna do what I wish that they would do and I'm gonna assume that you are started from scratch. Zilch. Nada. I made a spreadsheet. It's got all the products that we used out there. Let's take a look at the costs. Now I'm not gonna go through and read off every cost here, though you can pause the video and look at that if you're interested. What I'm interested in here is down at the bottom, the total. Uh, how much did we spend overall? And that number comes out to $324. Though it would have been more if we had bought the Metro Blower that Alda Anthony used. That runs about $480 on Amazon, making it more expensive than everything we bought put together. And bringing the total to $769. Now, knowing that we spent $324, let me give you my final thoughts. At first, that number may seem pretty big, and 
Arguably it is when you've got the old hose and dish soap option. But I am a tool person per se, and I love having the right tool for the right job, even though our current motorcycle stand may say otherwise. You see, having the right tool just makes for a much more thorough and enjoyable experience overall. So knowing that this isn't the last time that I'm gonna wash my bikes, and that having the right tools actively encourages me to wash them, I'd say this was a home run, definitely worth it. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. We're gonna be doing so much more with this channel and the shop here coming up. So if you liked what you saw, consider subscribing and we'll see you next time.